Well, week three of the NFL season is coming right around the corner. And Thursday night presents us with a matchup that looks interesting on paper, but instead it raises a lot of questions because it's Thursday night football. Can, can, can you not can you not give us the Panthers and the Texans? The Panthers have been looking red hot. Texans are in a organizational spiral of nonsense and especially with the injuries and things plaguing the Texans you know who's even going to start for them uh, I, I, I don't know I don't I don't know man I don't know who's gonna start for the Texans you know is it is it gonna be is it gonna be who's it gonna be who's it gonna be I don't know I don't know and it's not gonna be Deshaun Watson it's not gonna be Watson so who's it gonna be We'll find out because I'm not going to watch this game. You guys can find out for me. I'm not watching this. It's Thursday Night Football. I'm not doing it, man. Let, let's move on to the real good stuff. Sunday. You all know three straight windows of good Sunday football. That's the good stuff right there. And we start with the Chargers and the Chiefs. going to be one hell of a divisional matchup. Um, last, time I, last time we saw these two teams play each other was a thriller. You know, a thriller, Justin Herbert dueled it out with Patrick Mahomes, and, you know, both these teams are coming off losses. You know, I'm wondering about that Chiefs run defense, you know. Maybe it's a little bit concerning right now, but the Chargers didn't really run the ball against the Cowboys. You know, they threw the ball a lot. So, again, it's going to be another duel of Mahomes and Herbert. Just a classic AFC West showdown. That's the good type of stuff right there. That's the stuff you'd love to see. Stuff of them. That's the stuff that's just gonna make you gonna make your eyes melt. I'm watching this. And I'm definitely keeping my eyes on this game. Um, cards, Jags, <laughs> Jags are gonna lose this game, man. They're gonna lose this game so bad it's gonna be. I mean, unless unless Urban Meyer can right the ship, I I don't think the Jags are gonna win this game. They're not gonna they're not gonna do anything. They're gonna go over with 17, hopefully. Hopefully we get our first 0-7 D team, and I'm hoping it will be the Jags. Because, I mean, the Jags have lost, what, 17 straight games? It's, oh, let's make it number 18, baby. Let's make it number 18. Uh, Bears-Browns is actually kind of interesting now, now that I think about it. But, again, you know, injuries have been plaguing the Bears, so it looks like Justin Fields will be trotting out there for the Bears. You know, how's he going to do and everything like that. He's still a rookie and everything. You know, again, they probably should have went with Andy Dalton in the first place, but you know, it is what it is. You know, Chicago fans, you know, are still going to be like, Justin Fields is the savior that that, that, the, that the Bears need. And we don't know that yet. We don't know that. It's against the good Browns team, a real good Browns team that has seen a lot in this past year, seen a lot of good things happen to them. We'll see how they do. Um, Washington and the Bills. Now, I am going to watch this game, though, because I'm, I'm wondering how Josh Allen and company will do against the football team. Football team, you know, has a defense that, you know, they, they've improved that defense a lot from last year. You remember, that defense was strong late last year, but last year doesn't matter. This year matters. And, you know, again, it's always curious for me as a Cowboys fan to keep an eye on my division rivals because you know the football team is there. It's really one of the only intriguing matchups in the noon um, one Eastern time slot. Um, it's Colts Titans. You know, I don't know what to say about this game because I mean the Titans were dead the rights, you know, two weeks in a row, but yet you know, they beat the Seahawks in overtime and the Colts are the Colts. They they they, they look they look off. They look off, and you know, a lot of people expected the Titans to run away with this division. But again, I don't know yet. I really don't know yet because of the way the Titans played the like these past two weeks. I don't know yet. I really don't. Colts have to play better too, you know, but you know, the Titans really concern me. They really concern me because a lot of people said they're gonna run away with this division, the AFC South, and that that just does not look like that so far. Um Saints, Patriots, uh you know, the Patriots are improving, and the Saints, I don't know what, what Saints team are we going to get. You know, the one where Javis Winston, you know, looks like a competent NFL quarterback, or a, a game where, you know, the Patriots 
play, you know, like the Patriots of old, you know, solid defense, stuff Jameis Winston keeps out of Kamara and guys like that, you know, sideline. I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. This is one of the more intriguing matchups of week three. Really one of the more interesting ones, right? In all honesty. Um, Falcons, Giants, both these teams are 0 2. Oh. Honestly, we could get two 0 and 17 teams this year. I'm, I'm betting on it. I mean, the Falcons are that bad. Just a terribly ran organization. Bengals, Steelers. It's actually pretty interesting now that I think about it because the Bengals, you know, they look improved and the Steelers don't. The Steelers did not improve things from week one to week two, and they need to because I, I don't know what's wrong with this defense. I really don't. They said steel curtain. That, that that curtain is getting ripped apart, getting ripped apart in the pass game. They were getting ripped apart in the pass game against the Bills. They got ripped apart by Derek Carr, and maybe Joe Burrow can hit up Jamar Chase a couple times in the end zone. Wouldn't that be fun for Steelers fans to see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I don't know. I mean, there is there was a dude that just you know made a mess of himself in the. Uh, bathroom at the Steelers game at the Steelers game last week too so you know hopefully that man is alright you know hopefully he gets his bowels under control but um yeah Steelers are looking they're looking worse than that they're looking worse than that right now um Ravens Lions come on it's the Lions it's the Lions I don't have any expectations for this game in all honesty. Same thing with Jets Broncos. Don't have any expectations for this game. The Jets are a dumpster fire. A Broncos, they look to continue to beef up because they have some good matchups coming down the line too. You know, Teddy Teddy Bridgewater and company, oh, it's gonna be fun seeing them real soon. It's gonna be real fun seeing this team play real soon. Well, I'm betting on it. I'm betting on it. But that's a three oh five game. Same thing with Dolphins Raiders. I don't know what in the world the Dolphins are going to do. At quarterback, in all honesty, uh, Raiders just looking to stay like the Raiders that have played some good football these past two weeks. Like they've given us, they've given us a thriller so far. They've given us a passing clinic. So what kind of Raiders team? But how will how will the Gruden Grinders continue to improve this week? I wonder what the Dolphins can do too, you know, but I'm probably not going to keep my eyes on this game. But I am going to keep my eyes on these two games though. Well, probably. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to keep my eyes on Bucks, Rams. The Bucks, you know, Tom Brady going out to LA. And we all remember, you know, the last time Tom Brady took on, you know, an LA Rams team. Yeah, that, yeah, that team. But this time it's Brady versus Stafford. It's a lot different, you know. I don't think I've seen any of the um, the Lions Patriots games in the past, or you know, or anything like that. Did the, did the Bucks play the Lions last year? If so, I don't know. But Matthew Stafford and the Rams, you know, they always have Aaron Donald. You know, the Rams do, and I mean, the Bucks, you know, have a great defense as well. So this is going to be really fun. You know, definitely two teams that have lit up the scoreboard these past two weeks. It's gonna be a fun show. Let's let's get let's, let's give us all uh, so, so, let, let, let's just have fun with this one. Let's just have some good fun. I'm ready for this game. Um, but I mean, Seahawks Vikings. On the other hand, I don't know how these two teams are gonna rebound after a loss like the way these two teams lost last week. I don't know how they're gonna bounce back. I really don't. Um, you know, it's, it's gonna be interesting either way to see what they do. Um, but, you know, Packers, 49ers on Sunday night. Ooh. Ooh, it's going to be, this one's going to be real interesting. You know, what are the narratives coming in? Because the 49ers are a solid team. You know, it looks like they've solved the injury bug problems that have played them. You know, but the Packers, they're looking to come in to keep proving themselves, you know. You know, some people are probably saying right now, oh, Packers, NFC Championship run. NFC Championship run for the Packers. And we don't know that yet. We don't know that. You know, but, again, the Lions win instilled, must have instilled some confidence in them. Because they're going to need it against a stout 49ers team. They're going to need it. You know, both these teams, are, both, this is going to be one fun um, Sunday night matchup. Really fun. And last but not least, on Monday night, my Dallas Cowboys 
are going up against Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles, again, are a very improved defense. I mean, they were still hitting hard against the 49 They were hitting very hard against the Niners. I mean, the first couple plays of that game, you know, they were hitting, they were getting after Jimmy G. They were getting after him. And I was like, why? What's going on? And then the Cowboys just need to continue to improve themselves. Well, that's, that's a lot of teams. You know, honestly, how will teams continue to improve as the season goes along? I, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. We're only three weeks in, and it's just going to get a lot funner from here. So we got. It's going to be a stacked, stacked week three. Really stacked. In all honesty, you know, you got the, you got the Chiefs and the Chargers at that noon window. Then you got Bucks, Rams. You got Packers, 49ers, and then and then Monday night to top it all off with a sweet little cherry on top. My Cowboys and the Eagles. Uh, you know, classic Monday night matchup. Oh, I mean, man, it's going to be fun. Let's, let's do this. Week three. Here we go, baby. Um, make your predictions in the comments down below. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't really do, you know, like prediction, predictions of scores and spreads and everything like that. But I'm just thinking, you know, I'm just thinking and speculating. So, you guys, you know, do what you do in the comment section. Like, share, comment, subscribe, you know, all that other stuff that I usually say at the end of these videos. And I will see you Saturday night. Well, actually, it'll be Sunday morning, technically, late Saturday night into Sunday for the college football recap of week four. It's going to be, it's going to get a little bit weird. Let's do this, guys. Y'all take care.